Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Dr. Sayyid Abdi. I'm from Liverpool. I'm working as a doctor in Liverpool. Um, I've been there in the United Kingdom for the last 23 years now. Although originally I'm from Pakistan, born in Karachi, born and brought up and uh, did my uh, basic education in Pakistan. Uh, I'm fortunate I'm, I belong to one of the Shia family and uh, uh, I was raised in the Muhabbat of Ali Bath, love and affection of Ali Bath, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I always wanted to come here, so this is my first visit to Karbala, inshallah, and I hope it will be first of many. I think, uh, as, we, as I said, uh, we are fortunate that we are born in Shia families. Uh, who were raised by our mothers, our father, and our brother, sister, to, to uh, love and affection of Ahl al-Bath. And when we hearing from the very early age about the, uh, what happened to Imam alayhi salam, Muslim uh, Karbala, what happened to them. So I think people think about going for holidays here or there, but for every Shia, we all want to, that's the biggest holiday of our life, to come to Karbala. And so obviously this was from the day one, uh, and uh, Allah gave me tawfiq now, so I came this time. And we arrived from Najaf airport, so as soon as they, we saw Karbala sign, and you can feel like a sinking boat, that you can feel the sorrow, you can feel the what happened to a Muslim Imam, and immediately you want to cry. So that exactly happened to me. Uh, we did not see the sign, but we, uh, I thought about that I think it's a Karbala now. You can feel internal feeling that is, it is a uh, land of sorrow. I think, obviously, when you don't see anything, you want to see. But generally, what happens if you go somewhere which you've never seen, you said, OK, let's, I've seen, let's move on. But the feeling of Karbala, once we are here, I'm already planning what to do next, when I'm coming next, and inshallah, Arbaeen, Arfa. So it's a more, you want more, and more and more visits here. So this is the feeling, different from any other I've been to all over the world, uh, from Disneyland to uh, here and there. Uh, but the feeling which you, when you come here, you see there, you, so, you see the affection, it looks like your mom is inviting you, and you want to be here all the time. As you said, you're from Karbala, so uh, uh, I don't know. I'm already planning when I'm retired or whether I saw the sign of Imam Hussain, alayhi salam, Safir Imam Hussain Hospital. I was thinking about going there and find out whether I can come uh, once in a blue moon or once in a uh, once a year to come and do some charity work. So that's a feeling. That's a different feeling from anywhere else. Yeah, even before coming, when I was coming, people were asking, why are you going to Karba uh, uh, Iraq? because when uh, our Western friends find out about the Iraq, they know about ISIS. So they worried about why I'm going on this time. So I was explaining to them what is Karbala, what is Iraq, where I'm going. And I explained to them, it's, a, it's I, I said to them, this is very difficult to say why we want to go. We know we may be killed there. And I'm quite happy to go there. Uh, in Karbala, likely because if you have someone else say that you go there where people will be killed, you try to avoid. But this is the feeling that you want to, I think it will be honor for, when they said you may be, I said that will be honor for me if I can be killed in Karbala. That will be biggest honor of my life <laughs> if I can be killed. So I think that's what I'm trying to uh, uh, explain to them what happened in Karbala, what was the uh, uh, history of Karbala, who was Imam Hussain alayhi salam, who was his uh, immediate family who were killed, and how, how the, I think in the history of the human being, never been like this story, like a 72 companion and uh, immediate family, especially six months old, has been uh, murdered by these uh, uh, um, coward people. And uh, I don't think so we have any history of the in human being, the way our Imam went through this, uh, uh, a, a tragedy. I came here on last Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday morning, we came here. And for last, uh, today is like a, a Sunday, so it's a sixth, fifth, sixth day. 
As I said, I've been to, mashallah, Hajj, Umrah, and where you see the people selfish. When you go there, you say they're performing something which is like an uh, actor performing some act. Here you see people are doing things from their heart. And you can see everybody is trying to help each other. It's not everybody trying to do their self. That's a different feeling. That's a different thing, what I can see. And I think the internal feeling is very, very difficult to explain how I feel. Uh, I think being a Shia raised in Muhammad uh, Ali Bayt, so it's an automatic. And as soon as you come and go inside, you, you just feel like your heart is sinking, a feeling of what went through the Imam. So it's very difficult to express. I don't think so anybody can express what they feel. It's a purely internal. So that's how I feel. And the memory is basically, yes, I think every memory is good because, um, as I explained to you, I think I think looks like Imam call, calling you to come again and again. Uh, so I think that's my feeling that uh, I think I convey the same message to everyone that uh, obviously um, for our religion and our belief that uh, Ziyarat Imam Hussain alayhi salam is wajib those who can afford. Even I think the belief is a, a, like a hajj you can afford but Ziyarat is a wajib even if you can't afford. Even if you have to borrow money, you should do it. So my message is, I think, uh, you're missing something. If you don't, if you haven't been here, I think you're missing biggest things in your life. I don't think so. You can experience any of these feelings anywhere in the world. So it's not that Imam is going to lose if somebody is not coming. I think they are missing. They should come. They should experience. They sh I think it's a life-changing experience. Especially uh, if, uh, if we th think that um, Imam has accepted our ibadat, then we should feel chained to ourselves after this ziyarat. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajjal farajam. Uh, uh, my name is Mamuna Abbas. I am uh, 41 years old and uh, was a Montessori teacher uh, in uh, Austria, Vienna. Uh, since five years, uh, I am settled in Pakistan now. And uh, I'm just uh, giving my duties to my kids, home, and my ahli bayt. Salam, alhamdulillah. Uh, during past five years, I think uh, I started my journey. I changed when my life was totally changed. Um, I was having a very different life before. But once there was an incident that happens with me that uh, I just saw a dream in which I, I, somebody told me that show me something uh, which changed my life. And now, alhamdulillah, uh, day by day, I'm walking on the path which is near to Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. And uh, before, uh, it's my third visit to Karbala, Abu Abdullah al Hussain alayhi salam. Uh, uh, two years before, I was here in Arbain, and uh, this changed my life. Arbain walk and Arbain, it changed my life more than anything else. Uh, this visit, when I come to my Imam to visit my Imam, uh, I just think that. Uh, uh, I was just, uh, one day I was just sitting and thinking about to come again on Arbain. Uh, then I thought that why shouldn't I take my kids with me this time so that they can also feel Karbala. To feel Karbala so that they can, uh, they can apply Karbala in their life. So I decided and Alhamdulillah I came here with my kids and 
it it, it is a very very i think it was a very good decision to bring kids with me and uh, uh, like uh, it's easier for me to for the tarbiya of my 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 kids uh, and alhamdulillah i'm 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 just thinking that i'm i'm in heaven because to karbala i never think that it's a it's a place on earth or it's a piece of land or a country something like that i always think it's a piece of heaven and uh, i'm just walking in heaven and paying my regards to my imams my lords the thing which make me that uh, to bring my kids it was a uh, a very good uh, I, i said this before it's a very uh, i i'm thinking that it's a very good decision on, on uh, this age i bring them here so that's it's a very good decision because it's a very uh, uh, it's a very strong uh, step to take for their tarbiya first of all uh, now they can think about uh, wh- from where they belong and uh, about karbala because karbala make a uh, make a what you say a personality i think so karbala is always uh, if you visit karbala it is uh, it is uh, a strong uh, um, bridge to make a man a, a, a strong man or a strong personal to build up a strong personality it's 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 always being like that so that it it's it's a thing that uh, you can uh, you can to be near to your imam if you if you feel karbala if you think karbala if you don't take karbala like a story it's not a story it's a it's a whole life you can say um it's a it's a meaning that uh, what how to how to lay, lay your life lead your life because uh, if uh, we are belonging to ahle bayt so if you uh, don't come to karbala or you don't think karbala then you then you can't be near to them i always think that uh, if you want to be near to your lords you always have to visit karbala and then you can uh, share it in your whole life when they star when they uh, saw the st- uh, the tomb first time i think uh, what can be a, a a moment or a or a it's a it, first of all this this thing was a dream for them to visit karbala it was a big dream for them that uh, is going to be true one day so this was the day that their dreams come came true and uh, when i think so what should be there when your dream come came true so that was the feelings to them and always uh, uh, for the kids the they always think that uh, imam hussain uh, love for their family especially for uh, hazrat ali akbar um uh, this is the uh, for my elder one he's always a uh, fond of this uh, part of karbala and imam hussain's life that uh, he always want to be uh, walk on the path of janab ali akbar alaihi salam and uh, the younger one his once he he told me when we uh, when we decided to come to came to karbala he he told me that uh, it's it's my it was my dream to visit karbala and he was just thanking to me that uh, you have uh, fulfilled my dream and my dreams came true i would like to uh, say to my family that uh, do visit to karbala because uh, karbala if you you ca- came to karbala you know the meaning of life and uh, i'm so glad to see here the 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 people of uh, karbala are so cooperative loving caring and i don't think so there is any uh, security issues because security is take the security is uh, under i think abba fazl al abbas alaihi salam i i never think that there is any security issues nowadays and it's a very 
I think so it's fine uh, they have to come and uh, even there are any issues and something like that everyone have to visit to Karbala to to um, build their lives and their uh, um, according to Ahlebayt and to be more honest to their lords and to be more uh, near to them to walk on the right path because uh, uh, it's it's always said by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam always says that Husaynu min yuana min al Husayn. So if we came to Husayn, it means we came near to our Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and if we came to them, we are near to God more than anything else. Yeah, it, it, it is right. Uh, one visit is never enough to come to Karbala because uh, how can a man live without water? I think uh, how, uh, water, how water is uh, necessary for your life, Karbala is like that. So I only think Karbala is breathe, Karbala is, uh, is blood in, uh, running in your veins. This is Karbala, Karbala is inside you. It's not only outside, it's inner. Your inner is Karbala. So you always have to be to come to Karbala. It's it's more than necessary to anything else. Um, there is a hadith about uh, one Imam. I just forget the name. I think Imam Jafar Sadek or Imam Ali Raza. I don't know. I just forget about that. Even you won't uh, have to eat with salt. You have to come to Karbala. You have to visit Karbala. So Karbala is always. Karbala is as necessary as uh, what you can say, breath for your life. It's a breath. Our breath is necessary for, for our life. Karbala is also necessary for our life. So everyone have to visit to Karbala. Should, I, I, will, I will say, should come to Karbala and fulfill your desires because these are the ones who give you everything with the a wish of Allah. They are all the one to give you everything. I, I, I believe on this thing.